The Raspberry Pi Web IDE is by far the easiest way to run code on your Raspberry Pi. Just connect your Pi to your local network and log on to the Web IDE in your web browser to edit Python, Ruby, JavaScript, and easily send it over to your Pi. The Web IDE includes a terminal, so you can send various commands to your Pi right from the browser. Also, your code will be versioned in a local Git repository and pushed remotely out to Bitbucket so you can access it from anywhere at any time. The Raspberry Pi Web ID also includes a handy visualizer. The visualizer is a feature designed to help you understand how a Python program is working at a more basic level. It lets you see what the Python interpreter is doing as it steps through your program, such as variables being assigned, objects being created, etc. Another neat feature of the Web IDE is the Python debugger. This can be quite useful for many situations. The debugger allows you to step through your Python program in real time. Not only is the Raspberry Pi Web IDE packed with features and easy to use, it is also extremely easy to install. First, let's head on over to the Adafruit Learning System at learn.adafruit.com and look at the Web IDE guide. You can find the guide by going to the Raspberry Pi category and clicking on the Raspberry Pi Web IDE guide. Or you can simply type in learn.adafruit.com slash Web IDE in your browser. Once the guide is loaded, click on the installation link in the left sidebar. Take a moment to read through the installation instructions. Once you have read through the instructions, go back up near the top and copy the install script command by clicking on the copy code link in the upper right corner of the code box. Next, if you're using a Mac, open Terminal. If you're using a PC, you'll want to download and use a terminal program such as PuTTY. Following the installation instructions, go ahead and SSH into your Raspberry Pi. When prompted, Type in your Raspberry Pi's unique password. If you haven't changed your password, it will be Raspberry by default. Once you have connected to your Raspberry Pi, you will paste the one line of code that we copied from the installation instructions. This command will download a script from the Adafruit repository and automatically install the Web IDE for you. It can take anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes to install, but you can leave it unattended while it does its magic. Once the Web ID installation has completed, you can open a browser on any computer in your network and type in http colon forward slash forward slash raspberrypi.local to open the Web IDE. The first thing you will see when the Web IDE is fully loaded is a quick setup page. The setup page is where you will connect the Web IDE to your Bitbucket account and also configure your email and name for your Git commits. If you don't already have an account at Bitbucket, you can create a free account. Once you are logged into Bitbucket, go to the Manage Account and click on the Integrated Applications link in the left sidebar. Next, click the Add Consumer button. Type Web IDE into the Name text box and click Add Consumer button below. Now, we need to copy and paste the key and secret codes into the Web IDE. These codes will allow the Web IDE to securely link up to your Bitbucket account. Don't share these codes with anyone or they will be able to access your repository. Once you have filled out all of the fields in the setup page, you can then click Submit to continue to the login page of the Web IDE. This page is rather simple. It's a one button, and when you click it, it will redirect you to bitbucket.org to log in, and then it will redirect you back to the Web IDE. Unless you log out, you won't need to do this very often. You should be able to see the editor window within the Web IDE now, so you're all set to start creating your projects. Thank you for trying out the Adafruit Learning System Raspberry Pi Web IDE. We'll follow up with more videos explaining how to use the various features of the Web IDE in the weeks that follow, so be sure to subscribe to our channel here on YouTube.